been a long time since I've uh, uh, since I fought mantises, but I think I recall they have a high chance to pierce your armor. Uh, and so that's what makes them so dangerous. When they hit like 50,000 times, they can knock you down too. Alright, uh, 420 XP, meh. Probably not worth our time and ammo at this point. Okay, let's go to the junkyard. Oh, um... Who did I put it on? Did I put it on Cassidy? I want to say I put it on Cassidy. Uh, false memory. I put it on Solik, of course. What you be need? Okay, I need this, and I need this. Oh, here, take more pistols. While we're at it, might as well just give you everything here. No. Alright, let's talk to him. Hey there, you're back with my repair kit. Mm, snap off, they're the best. Ready to trade? It's a deal at the Money Fine Trade. Should be able to just plug that sucker and get your car working. Okay, um... What do you do here? Here, let's just have him take a look at stuff. Uh, no, he doesn't have anything. So basically, if you come to... If you come to him with... Uh, weapons that are upgradable in some form, he'll let you know what it takes to, uh... To upgrade them. Okay. That didn't give us any, like, karma or anything, did it? No, okay. Um, what about... Gecko. Oh yeah, we're idolized here. We don't even need to worry about this place. I do know one other thing we could do in Klamath. Um, uh, Buckner's wife? Oh, Cassidy's overloaded. That's not good news. Anyways, Buckner's wife... Um, or no, I suppose Smiley is her wife. So... Buckner is... Um, missing her husband or lover or something along those lines um, and we can find him uh, what do I want to drop here he really is carrying quite a bit of stuff I almost feel bad but I don't that should make it better let's look at his carry weight yeah he's doing okay all right um, so we could go find her fiance or lover or husband or whatever, uh, Smiley. And that would probably make us idolized with Klamath. And it'd be back in the region after we pick up our car and we're kind of like smoothing around all over the place. And we'll be able to fly around the wasteland. It's pretty crazy how fast it moves. Plus, it's just bitching to have a car. Um, there we go, the den. Oh wow, they actually have Navarro on the map for us. So we actually know where Navarro is. Reach for the sky, some highwaymen say. Uh, what do they have on them? 44 Magnum. An FNFAL! Okay. Well, you die first, unfortunately. I like the paint, she says. Ah, oh, an SNM. An SNM FNFAL. Nice. Is 
Shields guns are extremely valuable. And actually really good if you have the ammo for it. Now, she probably has a shotgun of some sort. Nice shot. Um, let's shoot her. Love to hear them bones crack, he says as he misses me with his knife. Oh, I'm glad that that was the last turn you ever took. I hope you are too. Hope you're satisfied with it. Because, again, last one. Oh yeah, dogs, forgot. They forgot too. I kind of was just watching like, hey, this is pretty cool. Loud noises and stuff. We make those. Nice. Critically lost their turn and was then thrown across the wasteland. Excellent. Okay. Um, two bucks. Excellent. He clearly has done some successful robberies with... Uh, I, I mean, noticing what he did with me, I, I really I just... I'm not surprised at all. But I'm really in it for this FNFIL. You guys want to call it the fin foul or whatever? A revolver, cute. All right. Um, I guess we should just do a preliminary save before we run into a like an encounter of a hundred million super mutants, and that's just the end of us. I want to say we did just about everything with Monarch. Um, oh, we have a doctor's bag. Let's stop by here real quick. Second thought? No. I don't even care. We're going to start moving towards the uh, the south of the map here. Kind of get away from these early game, low risk, low reward areas and start getting into some nasty places like uh, um, like Broken Hills uh, and the New Reno and things like that. No merchant party. Let them celebrate on their own. Some scorpions hiding in the spore plants. I just don't get that. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Locals ain't too friendly. Well, we kind of cleared out most of the unfriendly locals here. Jumping. Jiminy, what can I do for you? Say, old timer, I have this thingy here that I picked up in Gecko. Little Smitty, take a look at it. Sure, here it is. Well, now, it looks like. It's an old fuel cell controller. Hmm, but if I use that with the old highwayman, I can get her purring like a kitten. Well, you see, I've got this car, Chrysler's Motors Highwayman. She's a beaut, too. They used to say nothing can stop a highwayman. Built tough, that's what they were. Yeah, so what's that got to do with me? Oh my god, I feel like we're playing stupid here. Well, you see, I thought I needed a battery for the thing, but all I really needed is a fuel cell controller. Then them things always going bad on them. Okay, well, I got one of those. That's right, here's the deal. You give me $2,000, I'll sell you the car. Hell, I'll even install the fuel cell controller for you. It should run good as new. I'll even charge it up with some extra microfusion cells I got. Okay, um, here's the money in the part. Just take it easy until she warms up now. Okay, um, let's talk with them again. So I found this other part. That's the fuel cell regulator. That'll give you better mileage per energy cell. Could put that in for you if you had, say, 750 for my trouble. Here's the part. So we've turned this guy into like a fabulously wealthy man. Let's see if we can get all our money back. He has all of our money. So. Doo -doo -doo. That ought to do it. I'm gonna see if we can get the rest of these off of him. I don't want anything else here. Ah, uh, we could use the 762s. They're hard to come by, which is why we want to keep them. Uh, man. 
I don't really want to get rid of anything else, so... Okay, I guess you can keep it again. I don't care, whatever, we're just getting rid of weight. Basically, that just means those robbers paid for our car. And here she is. Now, one of the best things about this car is that um, the car can hold essentially infinite weight, I believe, in its trunk. Yeah, so we're going to put basically everything in this thing. Now we really have no reason to carry anything more than, uh, than we absolutely need to. So we can always just hop in our car, pick up anything we need. I'll keep our ammo, guns, and armor on us, and that's pretty much it. We'll keep uh, one of the med kits, and that's that's really all we need to keep. We could talk to Cassidy and start, you know, getting all the stuff off of them that they no longer need to carry, and this will be our big loot machine. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? You can have this. They'll carry the ammo on themselves, though. Well, we'll keep those. Any of the specialized ammos that we're not quite using now, but we're saving them for the future, I'll take off their hands. Yeah, he doesn't really... How many of these? Oh, God. That's so much weight. Yeah, I can't carry that just yet. We get like a pink or jackhammer, I might actually switch to that. But the 223 is just so beautiful. I'll just, I'll need to pick up at least one burst weapon if we ever pick up a bonus rate of fire. All your shotgun shells are belong to me. Gimme. Thank you. This way, nobody has to carry anything. And I'll just have to take trips back to my car when we're selling stuff. What, Jibby? We do need to keep an eye on the amount of uh, um, microfusion cells that we have, though. If you if you get rid of the uh, the ammo inside of these things, they can stack better. All right. Um, Or this, or this, or this. That should probably be as much as I can hold. Maybe I'll carry that. There we go. Okay, put all these things in here. What, Jibby? keep those. Uh, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take all of these, I'll take all of these. All of these, carrying an awful lot of ammo on him. Um, our vault city pass, these things aren't really worth anything. Gimme. Okay. Uh, really, yeah, all he needs is his, uh, his armor and his ammo, or his armor and his sledgehammer, that's it, he doesn't even need ammo. And basically that means there's almost no reason to, like, um, I, there might be a weight limit you could put in your trunk, but this is like the never-ending trunk. Like, this would be the scariest damn trunk to open. Like, if you were a cop or something? Oh god, no way. Um, I am too interested in, uh, <laughs> in using this car. Yeah, there we go. See, this is our little fuel bar. Uh, where do we want to go? We want to go to. Uh, we want to go to. We go to Nerino. You know what? Let's go get Goris back. Yeah, look at that just fly right off the map. Yeah, nice. I also believe we don't get stopped as much. You hear that wicked music? Yeah, we're just cruising. 